What have you accomplished before this trip? What have you already done? I think my biggest accomplishment has been um, having had the chance to drive my tractor across South Africa from the north to the south and have had raised over 100,000 rand for the Midlands of the Crisis and Trauma Centre, which we developed in Howick, which was a safe house for women and children. And, um, and that money went a long way to keeping that centre running. And also to have had the opportunity to um, interact with people on that journey and after the journey up until now in the way of doing um, a lot of uh, radio talks. Tony Tractor's in the studio with us. He's about to embark on a world tour with his tractor. Have you got a name for your tractor? It's Old Baby. Old Baby? Yeah. Come on, Old Baby. Yeah. And speaking at schools and meeting with government people um, and just, yeah, just making a, a bit of a difference in people's lives so far. Tell me about the centre that you've already built. Okay, the centre that we developed in 2005 was based in Howick. The place was set up to look after abused women and children. It has now gone on now to take on uh, young men as well. They built another centre at the back of this place to accommodate them. What message would you like to get across? What are your goals? Yeah, I think for myself personally, I, I would like to get across to schools and, and get the chance to speak with as many school kids as possible. Um, at a, at a young age, to be able to almost like, if you want to call it, plant the seed in their mind and talk to them about, you know, about life, about good things and how people can make a positive change just by wanting to be good people, basically, to, to talk about morals and good family upbringing and, um, and also to have the opportunity to talk to government officials and see what it is that they can bring to the table to help me assist in, in doing this as well. And I'm sure that if everyone can just come on board in some small way, that eventually it's all going to be able to make a big difference. The Thursdays in Black campaign was started in South America and it was basically started to, in solidarity for women and children who've been abused in their lives to make people aware of it. Well, I think that if enough people wore black on the same day that um, people would come to want to question what was going on and there raise interest about this whole topic. Tell me about this worldfund4.com. Uh, the worldfund4.com is, is a website which we've developed um, where people are going to be able to go online and look at um, what's going on within, with the trip. But um, we've developed a, a system on the, on the website where people are going to be able to um, basically purchase, if you want to call it that, plots of land, blocks of land around the world, wherever they live or somewhere else, landmarks, famous sites. Um, and that money will go to the fund but will be almost a, it'll be a donation to the fund and, and not a, actually an advertising but more a donation and um, a way for them to show their support for this uh, worldfund4.com